Hello everyone, welcome back to another game of League of Legends. Today we're playing some Nocturne Top. We're going against the Gangplank. I kind of got suckered in. I thought I was going against a Poppy, which isn't a bad matchup for Nocturne. Gangplank I mean, is still not a bad matchup, but Gangplank has the range over me, so... It's definitely, definitely rough, but I think I can make it work. I meant to take Corrupting Potion, and I took that by instinct. Well, shit. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, well. Hopefully we can make this work. We do have our TP, so we can always TP, TP back to lane with a Corrupting Potion if we need it. But the, the main drawback to Nocturne Top, if you haven't seen me play Nocturne Top on the channel before, is his mana cost. He has really high mana cost and a very low mana pool. He has 273 base mana, and his... Q costs 60 mana, so he literally has less than 5 casts of his Q. Now granted, I am running my Jace Runes, which gives, which has some uh, mana regen on it, along with AD. So I do have a little bit more mana regen than Nocturne normally does, but still, it's very, uh, very rough in the early game, and even through mid-game, he kind of starts to run low on mana a little bit. But since I am going against a lot of AD, I may build a Glacial Shroud just to have a little extra mana. We'll see. Well, let's get into the lane and, uh, and see how this... How this turns out. Nice, good job, bot lane. Let's uh, put a ward right here. Yep, there she is. I fucking knew she would be here in just a second. Got her. <laughs> good job. Wonder if Vygar has flash. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to ult in on him anyway. I have my spell shield up. Move up just a little bit more. Got him. <laughs> and that's why I picked Monocturne for this game. Fucking just goes through Vygar's stun like nothing. Cuts through it like butter. <laughs> God, I love Nocturne. This champ is actually a lot better than a lot of pe people give it credit for. The spell shield is so has so much utility when it comes to light champions like Vigar. You can just gank him mid. It, it, he's such he's so squishy. If you can get through his fucking his his event horizon like that, he's done. He just used ult, so he doesn't have ult for lane. I'm dead. Wow. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Wow. I for did not realize he had exhaust. That's bad on my part. I fuck. Fuck me. <laughs> if I would have known he had exhaust, I, I damn. I should have paid attention to that. Granted, I have starved him off a of farm fairly heavily, though. I have him down 25 CS, so I'm not too worried about it. Now I get my Hydra. Get a little movement speed. Get that. Actually, you know what? We'll get. Refillable potion. Yeah, bitch. the fuck out my lane. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my lane, bitch. Let me back, heal up, and uh, go towards the mid and try to kill this Vigar again. Just flash over it, Elise. Go for it. I have faith in you, buddy. Do it. Flash. Get him. Got him anyway. <laughs> I don't know if the flash was necessary. I mean, she had repel, but I guess to each their own. And right, I'm gonna ult in. I, it doesn't matter if he if she doesn't have ult. I'm just gonna ult in. It's an easy easy gank here. Well, fuck me. 
Oh, well. That, uh, that went awry. <laughs> Our team is so far ahead, though. I'm the only two deaths. Report me. I'm inting. My lord, this Elise. So fucking fed. I'm dead. Fuck me. God damn it. I didn't realize Poppy was going to be there. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so boosted. Oh, that was terrible. Fuck. He was just out of my fucking melee range, too. And there it is. Boom goes the dynamite. Good job, boys. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> why did the turret? Why did this turret attack me? Didn't we have minions here? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. And that's how that's done. Heal up off of this, shall we? Well. So Zach was there. Fuck me. Yeah, we should have just backed off that. That's my problem with Nocturne. I, I get up far ahead. Usually I win lane with them because people don't expect the cheese. And then, uh, and then I get cocky and overconfident and realize Nocturne is not a great character. And perhaps I shouldn't get cocky. Ooh, Ari with the Jukes. And time to get this turret. And let's go top. She uh dragons up, dragons up, dragons up, dragons up. Oh, never mind. They surrendered. Well, that's uh I got far ahead in lane, and then uh, I kind of shit all away with with dives under Nexus turrets with my ult. But uh, overall, like I said, I would I would try out Doctor and Top if I were you guys. It's actually not bad. His mana is is the the hard part, but he actually does pretty well into a lot of matchups matchups because of the spell shield. Like if you play Nocturne enough, you can time his spell shield and get good enough with it to uh, to dodge out on some pretty important abilities. I've can't tell you how many times I've played it into Camille and dodged out on Camille ult with my spell shield. So it's actually pretty good. So I would try it out. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for more League of Legends gameplay. Leave some feedback in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.